Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am Tessie, and this is Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Life, where I live in a 1963 Ridgeway mobile home on about a one-acre lot. And I turned that into something that can be self-sustainable as much as possible. But you know, the title of this video is Not Surviving, But Thriving in an Old Mobile Home Homestead. There's a big difference between a newer mobile home and an older one. Mobile homes are a little bit like vehicles. They're not made to be lasting forever. And for me to live in a 1963 double wide is quite exceptional. In fact, I don't really know of anybody on YouTube that has the mobile home as old as I do. I would love to know if there is any channels with somebody living in an old mobile home like I do. I would love to subscribe to them because I think it's very unique because there's so many issues when you have an older mobile home because they start to break down. But today, it's not about surviving. It's actually about thriving. And I hope you enjoy the following video of spending the day with me. Lots of times I get new subscribers on my channel and they watch one video and they're so perplexed, they don't quite understand. Well, why are you doing that outside? And why are you doing this? And we just don't understand. But those people who watch my daily videos, or at least keep up with me on a weekly basis, totally understand why I do some of the things that I do. Living in a home without all of the amenities that, you know, the average person has can be challenging. But you know what? It can be really rewarding because you start thinking outside the box and start, well, inventing new ways of doing things. I guess you could say that. You know, inventions are the mother of necessity. So in other words, you have a necessity and you invent things and that's how inventions are created. And so I'm outside today and this is my little kitchen area outside and I am just working on my laundry bucket, working on getting things cleaned up and just what I do every single day of my life and that is chores, but my chores may look just a little bit different than all of yours. We do all the same things, it's just well, I do them a little bit more interesting, I guess you could say. Or sometimes it's a lot harder work. All of a sudden, my life took on more meaning because I wasn't just a survivor. I was thriving in the conditions that I was living in. Just taking a little time to go through all of my gardening stuff from last year and to see what I have. I try to save everything. That way I don't have to spend it from one year to the next. This is always so much fun. The first day of spring, I can come out here and I can look to see what I have. So I'm going through all of my craft projects that I did last year, like the forks and the corks. <laughs> I think you guys remember these. This was neat to do all kinds of, to, label all kinds of herbs and so I did a whole bunch of these and let me see how they if they stayed nice look they turned out amazing yet yeah, so these are gonna be for my beautiful Tasha Tudor seeds so I want to see how many I have that are nice yet imagine this is a whole year so this potting shed stayed pretty nice and dry oh they are so adorable so I love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these probably in this greenhouse right here beside me. I got a whole assortment of things that look like junk. A lot of people would say that's junk, Tessie, but no, all of this stuff you can use. So I did find some doilies that were in there. I'm not sure why they were in my potting shed. So I have to go ahead and wash them. I'll go ahead and wash them by hand. And let's see, I do need to go through some of this soap, get some of this dirt together here, and we'll set everything up and open up the greenhouse for 2023. Woohoo! So these come from the Dollar Tree. I just ordered a whole bunch of new ones. I do use this Dollar Tree, and this is for all of my perennials and all of my herbs. If you followed me in long enough, you know that I use these for my herbs. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, fill all these up, and then I can put them in the potting shed. Then I could put them in the greenhouse. I pretty much went through everything in the potting shed here. I pretty much know what's in here. 
And now it's all a matter is just doing what has to get done. And that is filling these up with soil so we can get planting. So now we're in the potting shed and I really don't show you this too often because there's not a whole lot to see, but it's very old fashioned. What I need to do now is go get a rag and I wanna get some hot soapy water and I just want to just surface clean everything in here. This is a tight fitting room. And I was looking for one of these because I use these to water my plants. You'll see in a minute what I use. I just looking around just to see what's here and everything looks really good. I can't complain. It's not too bad in here. All right, let's go supersonic speed. It's time to clean up this greenhouse, get all the decorations away because we actually have to use it to start our seeds. And let's finish this up and then move on to the next project. And that's what it looks like in there. Now everything will dry off. It won't take long. Everything will dry up really good. And now that's done. One quick word of advice, if you want to buy a greenhouse, make sure you buy it with the green reinforcement, not the clear plastic. The clear plastic will not last very long. You want to make sure you get it with the green reinforcement. All right, now they're both ready to go and they are cleaned up. Now we have a mess over here though. I have to finish this mess. Well, somehow last year I had a whole bunch of soap that I was curing out in the potting shed. I totally forgot about it. I don't know why it was out there, but with the moisture of it, the paper got kind of wet. So now I'm going to go through all of these bars of soap and I'm going to take the paper off of them and clean them up and bring them inside. It's always something I'm telling you but it's so pretty. I love this soap. This was my lye soap. So I'm gonna go through all this soap and put it in my curing basket and then hang up some of this wash that I'm washing all of those doilies that I found in there. And then I'd say the greenhouses are all ready to go. We got it all done. Now it's time to clean up before I finish the day. But I got the soap all cleaned up nice. It's gonna cure. And I did wash all of these linens. Yes, they look like this for purpose. They're very old fashioned looking linens, which I tea dyed. So we're gonna just keep this little drying rack out here for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hang these all up. And these two rags, I think I'll throw away because they're pretty gross. These were just regular rags, but we have it all done. And I'm so thankful that you got to spend another day with me just seeing all the things that I'm working on. Now I got to go put all the wash away and I'll say goodbye to you all now. Wow, we got it done. So we cleaned out the potting shed. We cleaned out the greenhouse. I got everything taken care of and everything looks nice and clean again. Mm -hmm.